Hello! I am Brent Valdez and welcome sa vlog ko. So for today's vlog, we're gonna uh, walk through yung lahat ng scenes na ginawa ko sa Widow's War. Ah, ito! This! Okay! This scene, hindi ko in-expect. From script kasi, iba na yung mangyayari pagdating sa actual eh. So, pagdating namin sa set, I recall. Sige, play muna natin. Wow, the... The Himas. <laughs> the Himas. Whoop! Yan. Yes. Benjamin Alves. This is my most important birthday to date. Mm -hmm. It's a great uh, start of great many things for my life, so I have to look my best. Mm -hmm. You're right, sir. This scene in particular, dito nag-start lahat eh. I recall from yung first day namin sa Widow's War, si Direk Zig, merong character na pinlanan nila ahead for, for me. And then pagdating sa first day, biglang sinabi ni Direk Zig, I think magiging right siya for Peter's character. So nagbago siya in a snap. And uh, all thanks to Direk Zig kasi with his expertise no, pagdating sa cinematography, directing, all of it. Pag ngayon nila ako ulit nanood ng teleserye, naaabangan ko tuwing 8.50pm. Not because I'm part of the show, but because of the artistry na pinakita na Direk Zig. So, really, Direk, thank you and I owe you. Ito sa scene na to, kabado pa yan eh. Kasi it's, sa script, hindi naman nakalagay na hihimas yung kamay ni Peter sa ganito ganyan. Pagdating namin sa field, sinabi ni Direk Zig na, okay, uh, baka pwede mong gawin to. Is it okay with you? Of course, we have to really assess the scene and I'm really happy na si Benjamin Alves yung nakasin ko dito. I recall sinabi niya sa akin, it's your scene bro. So, enjoy and uh, I have to do it to the best of my abilities na magshine dito sa one particular scene na to. And true enough, naging usapin siya sa social media. Kaya, thank you. Thank you also, Benjamin Alves, for this. Inisip ko talaga, as, as I portray my character as Peter, is, and as an actor, you really have to show the emotions, hindi lang sa mata, but the body language, the nuances. So at that time, iba yung intention ko, of course, with the hands. Na, okay. Tapos, uh, I recall sinabi pa ni Direk Zig, pisilin mo! <clears throat> okay, sige po, pipisilin ko. Yeah, tapos dahan-dahan bumaba. Eh... It was my first scene, uh, you know, same sex. Here in the story of Widow's War, uh, si Peter really is, he will do everything for the sake of money. Kasi he's struggling with his uh, finances, number one. Uh, meron siyang malaking utang sa nagangalang Oming. And uh, the reason why he's there is because he wants to, you know, one-up. Ano yung pwedeng maging opportunity na naghihintay sa akin para makaangat sa ladder ng buhay, you know. So when I knew na Jericho is actually a palacios, I took advantage of it. So, dito sa, sign, sa scene na to, bino-blackmail ko na siya. <laughs> and you know, in, in real life, you can, you can portray these kinds of emotions. Pero in television kasi, when you're showing your artistry and passion, the in. Mm -hmm. Kaya pala mabait ka tayo mong Rebecca. Parehas pala kayo ng tatay. Hmm. Haha. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one. So, Inigo. Inigo is a new character sa Widow's War. Siya si Attorney Inigo na best friend ni Basil. So, dito sa scene na to, dahil nga si Peter, eh, kung an opportunista ang character ni Peter, lahat ng makita niyang opportunity na magiging comfortable yung buhay niya o magiging okay yung buhay niya, grab na natin yan. Kaso in this case, hindi binili ni Inigo si Peter. Sir, Inigo, no? Yung 
best friend be surpassing. And you're his. Mike Tan. Woohoo! Si Mike Tan, parang ano, uh, Korean actor. Maraming, ma marami kaming nabasa sa comment section. At mahusay na actor. What two best friends tell each other? Whoa. They share secrets. Mm. Together. Okay. Ha. Grabe yung pambablock. Haha. <laughs> Nalalo ko yung mga yung small nuances yung tingin-tingin na yan ah. Aba. Uh, you can you can see it. Bakit po? Nakakapong bang kayo ng babae sa si Ayan si Sergeant Marcus. Sergeant Villa. Played by Archie Alimanya. Napakahusay din siyang life of the the set talagang yung energy ni ano ni Archie Alimanya ay it's there it's may rippling effect ripple effect to everyone kami na lang po muna mag-identify yeah, Miss Jackie Lou Blanco oh bakit po? hindi po ba makapagsalita si George? yeah I remember this scene I'm super affected now because uh, so my cousin died a few days ago and you know how it feels yung pinagdadaanan ni Ruth na she's not sure whether or yung yung patay na nakita nila ay yun ba talaga so you know the feelings and emotions that uh, Miss Jackie Lou's character had to endure and to go through it's really hard really it's after mong magpakita ng mga ganitong emotions draining siya but I salute I salute uh, Miss Jackie Lou Blanco for this I just wanna shout out my cousin there in heaven Ali Bro, uh, I uh, dedicate this show for you. I will dedicate this show to you. So, whatever it is that I'm uh, experiencing now, bro, you're part of this and uh, I miss you. I am Panacios. I am the next CEO of our company. I don't sleep with hell. Sponsor someone like you? Wow. No, you're a place you. You're nothing but the hell. Oh, yan, grab yan. Whoo! Whoo! Wow. And then yung emotions that na I portray at that particular moment, bro. Disgust. Natapakan winarak yung ego mo, yung pagkatao mo. Damn. Ooh, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, sige, kwento ko lang. Matagal ko nang nabasa yung sequence. And uh, hindi ko naisip na gagawin na yun sa araw na yun. Pagdating sa loob ng set, Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. I, I would consider no a uh, uh, pivotal scene because dun sa first sequence, dun sa first scene na napanood nyo, yung hinihimas-himas ko si, si Basil, eh, nagkaroon ng maraming speculations sa lahat ng nanonood, netizens, na maybe there is something uh, going on between Basil and Peter. And apparently, from, from the revelation, it's a revelation after revelation after revelation. Ganon siya. Yung, yung pinagdaanan namin dito, of course, we... we we need to communicate, no? Ano yung pwede, ano yung hindi pwedeng gawin sa scene. And I'm really happy that I was able to, well, outside outside the production or the set, uh, Benjamin Alves is a good friend of mine. And uh, hindi ko lubos akalain na gagawin ko tong scene na to that will leave a mark on me in a good way. Uh, this scene where... Ina announce, ina announce ni Galvan. Akala ni Jerry ko, siya na yung sinabi ko. But yung twist is, ako pa lang nagpanggap. 
Listen to him first. Let him talk. Nakuha ko si Tito Galvan dyan. Oh, no? Manipulation, bro. Manipulation. Totoo po, Mama Aurora. <laughs> Anak po ko ni Rodolfo at Jessica. Yung sekretary niyo po na... Hindi <laughs> mo lang. na pinakulong nyo nung malaman nyo na siya yung girlfriend ng papa ko, si Rodolfo. Hello. <laughs> Isa kang con man, Peter. At uh, hindi ako sa Isabel. Hanggang sa nabuntis ko si mama. Sabi sa akin ni mama, Isang taong gulang pa lang po ako nung bigla na lang yung... Miss Jean Garcia, wow. Ang huli po nila usapan. Sabi ni Papa, Kala niyo daw, may protektahan yung mama. Snake. Sikreto ni Mama na. Kapala ko na si Rodolfo Palacios. Oh, Royce Cabrera. Kasi... Pakahusay. Kasi alam niya nga natin ko siya eh. Kaya sabi ko sa akin ni Mama. Cringe! Patay na daw po si Papa! <laughs> cringe, cringe. Pero bago po siya naman tayo. But effective, oh. Sinabi niyo po sa akin. Kuwang-huwa talaga yung inis ng mga tao dito. No! Anyone can make up that trash story. I will not accept you. I will never accept you. You are not and will never be a Palachos! Whoa! Aurora! It's a good thing that you're here, Tito Galvan! It's so hard to speak! Thank you all for coming. This particular scene, it was the time that I was so busy with work. Every day I was doing Peter and I'm really happy. But in this particular scene, I didn't scan yung yung script so nagkaroon ng challenge I would say it's a baptism of fire ganon yun yung naging main challenge ko na I I know all the sequences I I read it but this particular sequence where I will tell I will I will tell to everyone na I'm actually a palasyos and I have to to make them believe that I am one kinailangan kong ikulong yung sarili ko sa likod at pagdaanan yung lines to understand it. Kuya Lito Pimentel went to the room that I was in and he told me, and ito yan, kailangan panwalaan mo sa kanila na palasyos ka. Sige nga, kwento mo nga sa akin. Eh di kinuwento ko sa kanya. Eh kasi ito po eh, yung nanay ko, bago po sinabi sa akin ng nanay ko na ganito ganyan. And then biglang sinabi niya, that's it. Yan yung ipakita mo dyan sa scene na yan. Huwag ka mag-overthink, huwag mong isipin, huwag mong i-pressure yung sarili mo. Explain mo sa kanila kung bakit ikaw si Peter Palacio. Ayan, we will react to this scene na kung saan uh, nakakuha ako ng uh, Guinness <laughs> record. Na, 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 nakakuha ako ng record na pinakamaraming nasampal ni Ms. Jean Garcia. It is an honor, really, really, a, a true honor na makasin si Ms. Bea Alonso and si Ms. Jean Garcia in a sequence where lahat ng tao ay galit na galit pero hindi nila ma-express yun. I, I, can, I can still remember, I was reading the comments, gusto daw nila ako yakapin hanggang mag-violet ako. So, uh, sige po. Ito po. Uh, ibinigay na namin sa inyo. Sabi ni Direk Sig, damihan mo pa yung sampal, mga anim. Anim daw! I recall si Bea was teasing me pa. Oh, eh, hindi pwedeng hindi, peke lang yung sampal ni Brent. Yan, ganyan. Kasi ang lagay ba ay sinampal din si Miss Bea dito. And you know, super fun. Game! Tara! Pero yung first, medyo may ano pa yun eh. May parang dinaya pa eh. But the second take and third take, those were real sampals. At uh, hindi lang siya anim, mga kapuso, 12, 13. Para ko na sa cloud nine while we're doing this. Kasi imagine, all my life, nanonood lang ako ng television. Now I'm here, 
in this point of my life at kasing ko, Ms. Bea Alonso, Ms. Jean Garcia, at sasampalin niya ako. So, let's go. I want you to leave this estate at once. No. <laughs> asar na asar. Oh God, <laughs> call me that. How dare you call me Tita Aurora? No. Tumayas ka dito. No. Tita. Hindi pwede palayasin dito. Si Tito Galvan lang po ang pwedeng magpalaya sa akin. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Ang sabi pa nila, umiyak ka dyan, ha? Hindi na po kailangan. Ito na po, ibibigay namin sa inyo. Yan, o. Oh. Ay, kawawa. Aping apit talaga. Parang aping apit talaga si Peter at si Brent. <laughs> Nangyari yun. Kailangan umiyak ka, ha? Sabi ni Direk. Okay po, sige po. Ayun. Wow, it's something to keep. It's part of my bucket list. Na as an actor, na masampal ni Miss Jean Garcia, you know. So thank you. Sana natuwa kayo, no, mga kapuso sa sa galit nyo na hindi nyo may express na express na po namin, no. Because of Peter's desperation, wala na walang choice. I know, guys, you can relate. Uh, for sure, one of you can relate na kapag dumating ka na sa point ng buhay mo na akala mo wala ka ng solusyon, papasok ka na sa desperate moves eh. Desperate decisions, irrational ka nang mag-isip. In, in Peter's character, hindi niya alam yung gagawin niya pero nagtatrabaho siya sa mga ultra-rich. Anong gagawin natin dito? Kulang yung sweldo niya bilang driver. Kaya pumasok na siya dito sa desperate uh, decisions na in order to save my mom sa hospital and to pay for my loans dahil nga shark yung inutangan ko I, I had to do this and we're on to the last oh sipi mo na pag drive na si Peter ng BMW na red wow Tapos ang naghatid pa sa huling hantungan, yung mga bida pa! No. Problema mo yun, bakit ito tutulungan? Ito mo ko inadamay. O kung gusto mo, ikaw mag-drive nito. Pwede ba mamaya na tayo mag-away, please? Yeah, dito mo na makikita na, okay. Yes, meron silang away. Pero at this time, kailangan nilang magkaisa. Pakahusay. <laughs> Eto si Vivian, Vivian, I hate you. <laughs> Nagsumbong kay Galvan yan tuloy. <laughs> Miss Jean, I love you, Miss Jean. <laughs> Naniwala kasi Tito Galvan eh, ang tuloy. This is it. Imagine every everyone, all the characters are talking about Peter. It's something I will keep forever. Thank you, thank you. Thank you with those war. Thank you sa lahat ng bosses ko. Miss Helen, Miss uh, Cheryl, Miss Regin, Miss Michelle. Thank you, thank you very much. To our directors, to my co-actors, to the entire production, hanggang sa portalet and tent, guys. Thank you, thank you. George, wait. Ayan na. Ayan na. Wala na. Even the last, uh, the death scene, no? I felt it. I felt it. I don't want to leave the show, but... Yun ang nakatakta, mga kapuso. And... Ay! Kinot ba? Si Bea Alonso, Carla Abeliana. Boom! Sa, sa script, hindi lang isa eh. Lima, anim pa yun eh. Pero, you know, baka ma-MTRCB.
Again, thank you very much for the support and love and all of the above. Uh, I also want to promote PETA's One More Chance. Next startup po kami ng show from Thursdays to Sundays sa PETA Theater. I'll see you there hanggang October, third week. See ya! Ayan! Thank you very much for watching my vlog. And uh, para updated kayo sa mga susunod na videos, content, uh, mga vlog natin sa YouTube, i-subscribe nyo na yan by hitting the subscribe button. And uh, please follow me on all my social media accounts. Just type in Brad Valdez. And I'll see you on my next.